What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel and another Elden Ring video. Glovewort, or rather Grave Glovewort, is one of the resources in the game that allow you to actually upgrade your ashes. These are the normal ashes, so not renowned ashes. So I'm talking about like the wolves and skeletons. Now, this resource can be found out in the wild and you can use to upgrade them, but eventually you will run out of places where you can get this after you've scavenged all of the catacombs and everything like that. However, you can also find three picker's bells which allow you to bring this back to the twin maiden husks in round table hold and once you hand those in you'll be able to buy as many of the level one to level nine of this resource as you need now the locations for these three picker's bells are relatively straightforward the first one we're looking for is actually located within altus plateau and more specifically what you're looking for is the windham catacombs so you're going to go around the ruins here, you're going to go into the catacombs as usual, and you're going to progress through and you're going to have to fight the boss that's within the catacombs. And usually this works that you go in, you find the boss door, which is usually right near the beginning of the catacombs. Then you go through to the end of the catacombs, you pull the boss door lever, you come back, you go inside and you fight the boss. Specifically here, you're going to have to fight an Erd Tree Burial Watchdog. And as soon as you kill this enemy, it's going to give you the Glove Ward Picker's Bell bearing one, which allows you to get Grave Glove Ward one, two, and three from the Twin Maiden Husk after you hand it in. Your second bell bearing is all the way over in Mountaintops of the Giants. More specifically, once again, in the Giants Mountaintop Catacombs. Now, very much like our previous picker's bell what you're going to do is you're going to go into the catacombs itself find the boss door then proceed through it and essentially get to the final lever pull that and then have to go back all the way to the start and go into the boss room and fight the boss in this particular case you'll be fighting an ulcerated tree spirit which you should be fairly familiar with by now because any of the trees spirits that you fight in the open world this is exactly the same it's essentially a copy of that boss and again just like with the previous one as soon as you beat this boss you'll be able to get the picker's bell 2 which gives you grave glove ward 4 5 and 6 and the footage that you're seeing right now i've already killed this boss which is why he's not in the room but obviously this is the room that you'll fight him in now for our last bell we don't actually have to fight any boss but it is fairly late in the game when you can get this and more specifically you kind of have to run around an area and basically find it i'm going to show you both of those things but essentially the area that you're looking for is of course crumbling Faram azula so like i said fairly late on in the game and more specifically you are looking for this waypoint here crumbling beast grave depths and once you are in this area here it's a short run to it so as soon as you spawn at the resting site here you can essentially just follow the path that i'm going to run now you don't have to fight any of these guys here and you can just jump down here and we're going to go over and over here there's going to be a lift that we need to ride and i've been down here before so we're going to have to pull this this is actually going to take us down so while this is coming up i'll show you this is actually going to take us down to an area as you can see the water down there and the item we're looking for is actually in that small little like uh, structure at the back there now this area down here is overrun with a fairly tough enemy that can basically kill you with death magic or more specifically i mean it's basically a debuff that essentially you know kills you if it if it stacks up enough on you but you can basically just make your way around here you don't have to fight anything so be sure to take the high ground don't go low there because there's a piece of a cliff there that you can't jump across so as long as you take the high ground over here you run around now you'll see there's a bunch of these guys hanging around at the bottom but that's all good and more specifically there's a boss kind of one down here that's actually super super tough but again, to actually get the bell bearing, you don't have to fight him. So we're going to come around here. Now you'll notice there's two of them in the water there and a fairly large one on the side there. But what we can do is we can go around the side here. Now you can do this in two ways. You can sneaky, sneaky go, or you can just go full on tilt and run your way through. But what you're looking for is this little area here. And I've already picked it up, of course, but it's actually going to be lying right in the middle of this platform here. So you just pick it up here. And then, boom, skedaddle, you leave before these guys turn you to ash. And that's it. Now that's going to give you an unlimited supply of all the grave glove wood you need to get any of your ashes up to level 9. And the only thing keeping you back is essentially the price because these are bought with ruins. So you can literally go out and farm for the resource and just keep coming back and buying these. 
that's it for the video thank you so much for watching short one today i hope it helps you out be sure to check back on the channel as i bring a lot more of these kinds of short clips showing locations of items that you might have missed maybe you're someone that's starting Elden Ring out new and hopefully these can help you to get these things really quick and get yourself leveled up really fast but that's it thank you so much for watching and as always it's just super important to me that you have a fantastic morning a great afternoon and a super awesome evening wherever you are in the world and until next video Fucking cheers. They want the best of me now, best of me now, best of me now, best of me. They want the best of me now, best of me now, best of me now, best of me. They want